Hey everyone, welcome back to One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. I am back today with another set guide and review, and this time it is for the auto driven prospect and rookie heavy set. 2021 Bowman Sterling. And the question that's going to be on most collectors' minds for this set is Is this going to be a bust or is it a late season must? Well, it's time to find out. Let's get into the 2021 Bowman Sterling One Cent Sports Cards Set Guide and Review. So welcome into another set guide and review. This is the 2021 Bowman Sterling review. And what we're trying to figure out in this review is how good 2021 Bowman Sterling really is. How do we do that? With the one cent sensational set ranking system. Here's what that is. It is the most in-depth ranking system you're gonna find anywhere on the internet. What I do is I break the set down into 10 different categories and every one of those categories is worth one to 10 points. Then what I do, I add up all of those points and give it a one to five star rating based upon the scoring that you see over to the left. Then we'll compare the 2021 Bowman Sterling set with the set that came out last year in 2020 to see if the set's getting better, to see if it's getting worse. And finally, we'll compare it to all of the other sets that have been released in the baseball card season in 2021 to see how good it stacks up against all of the sets from this year. So before we begin, one more thing. Be sure to throw over to first, hit that like button for me. It is the best way to support the channel and show me that you like these reviews. If you like them a lot, be sure to subscribe so that you can see all of the reviews that we do during the card collecting season. And if you want to be the first to see them, be sure to hit the bell notification so you are notified as soon as these set guides and reviews go live. So here we go. 2021 Bowman Sterling. Here's what we're going to cover off on today. We're going to start with what the set highlights are. Basically give you a general overview of what we can expect from Bowman Sterling. Going to tell you the different buying formats that you can get it in. Dig a little bit deeper. We'll go into the key cards. We'll cover off on all the different parallels you can get, all the inserts, all the autos. And then I'm even going to tell you six teams that I think that you should target in breaks. Give you a couple sleepers who I think is going to hold the most value, who has the most autos, who's the best team overall. We'll cover off on all that. Then I'll give you my opinions on what I think that the set positives are, what the set negatives are. And that's what brings us to the one cent sensational set ranking where we find out how good Bowman Sterling really is. And we'll conclude by comparing Bowman Sterling to all of the sets that have come out so far this year. So here we go. 2021 Bowman Sterling, what does it have to offer in 2021? Well, the first thing we need to know, it is an MLB prospect driven set that promises plenty of autos in every box. It is in its 14th year of production, started back in 2004, went all the way to 2014, took a little bit of a hiatus, came back in 2019, and they've been making it ever since. All of the cards are going to be on Chromium stock, and this year's set checklist is 101 cards. It includes 50 prospects and 50 rookies. That is all you get, prospects and rookies. And card number 101 is a no number short print card of Jared Kelnick, so a very cool one there. Even though it is a Bowman product, it does not have any first Bowman cards. So Bowman has that for Bowman Baseball, Bowman Chrome, and Bowman Draft, but Bowman Sterling, more of an auto-driven set, does not have any first Bowman cards. This year, there is a nine color base set parallel rainbow with one new color that's magenta to 75 and it is only available as a hobby release. So don't go looking for this over at your Target or your Walmart. Like I said, auto driven set, there's five autographs in every hobby box and there will be prospect autos and rookie autos that you were able to pull out of this. Finally, there is a new Sterling Recollections insert and auto subset for 2021. What that is, is it actually has the player's first Bowman card kind of as a reprint, and they 
have that as an insert set for this year, and there are autos available. The Sterling Tender autos are also going to be new for 2021, so another auto subset that they've released for 2021, and you can get dual and triple autos. Finally, no relics are going to be found in this set either, so it is basically an auto-driven set with rookies and prospects. So the different buying formats we can get this in. Not very many. We can get a hobby case. That's going to have 12 boxes per case, five packs per box, and six cards per pack. So you would get out of a case 360 total cards. Price on that around $3,850. So a cost per card of $10.69. But you are guaranteed to get 60 autos. If you want it, drop down to the hobby box, totally understandable. Five packs per box, six cards per pack. So 30 total cards cost you about 325 bucks right now. Cost per card goes up to $10.83. And like I said, you're guaranteed to get five autos. For our parallels, a smaller parallel rainbow for Bowman Sterling. But here's what we have. We have a refractor going to be numbered to 199 speckle refractor to 99 magenta to 75 gold to 50 blue to 25 the black atomic refractor that's numbered to 10 red to five we've got a few printing plates and a super fractor one of one that is going to be it for the parallels the key cards we're going to be chasing well let's start off with the prospects First, we have Jason Dominguez, obviously a huge prospect in the Yankees organization. We have Yoquili Cespedes, Spencer Torkelson, Hedbert Perez making his first appearance in Bowman Sterling, Bobby Witt Jr., and Austin Martin, who is also making his first appearance in Bowman Sterling as well. For our rookies, plenty of rookies to be had in here, but we're going to start off with Cabrian Hayes. We have Ryan Mountcastle. Dylan Carlson, Andrew Vaughn, Joe Adele, and of course, that no number short print, the Jared Kelnick. Very cool card if you can pull that one. For our parallels, autos, and inserts. First, the prospect parallels. Obviously, those are going to always hold value. So as we're looking at parallels, if you can get any of the prospect ones, very cool ones there. We also have that Sterling Recollections insert, which is a very cool insert. You can see what that looks like over on the left with Ronald Acuna Jr., basically a reprint of his first Bowman, um, and those can be autoed. Obviously, the dual and triple autos are going to be very sought after. Pretty tough pulls, but if you can find one, you're doing real nice. We also have the Sterling Tenders autos. Those are actually based off of the pound, the Sterling pound that you would find in Europe. And then we also have the rookie autos. Those obviously going to hold a nice value, especially in a Bowman Sterling card. The prospect autos, same thing. And for our inserts, we only have one. It is the Sterling Recollections insert. There's 25 cards in that subset. They're each going to be numbered to 99. Has a decent parallel rainbow of gold, blue, black, atomic, red, printing plates, and superfractors. So that is the only insert. Then we get right into the autographs. For our autographs, we have the dual refractor autos. There's going to be 10 cards in that subset, each numbered to 25. A small parallel rainbow of black atomic to 10. The canary diamond, very cool looking card right there. They're each numbered to three. The red one of one and a super fractor one of one. We also have the prospect autos. You're going to find plenty of these as you open up the boxes. 58 cards in that set. We have a larger parallel breakdown of refractor, wave, speckle, orange, gold, blue, black atomic, red, and super fractor. You also have the rookie autos. 18 cards in that subset. Same parallel breakdown as the prospect autos. We have some more autographs. That would be the Sterling Recollection Autos. Those are the ones with the Bowman First reprint. Uh, eight cards in that subset. Parallels of Blue, Black Atomic, Red, and Super Fractor. We have the Sterling Tender Autos. 20 cards in that subset. You can see what that looks like over to the right. They're each going to be numbered to 99 or less. A very small parallel of Black Atomic, Canary Diamond, Red, and Super Fractor, one of one. 
Finally, we have the triple refractor autos. That's going to have three autos on a card. Very cool if you can pull it. 10 cards, each numbered to 25. Parallel breakdown of black, canary diamond, red, and super fractor. So, a very straightforward set. Not a lot. Like I said, very auto driven. We're focusing on rookies and we're focusing on prospects. So as we buy into this, a lot of people probably going to be buying into case breaks on this stuff, looking for some of these autos. So what are the teams that we should be targeting in breaks? Well, like I said, I'm going to give you six teams. And the first one we're going to start out with is going to be what I think is the best team. And that is the Chicago White Sox. Here's what they've got in the set. They've got five base cards. And keep in mind, that's out of 100 total cards. They've got one prospect and four rookie cards. But they also have eight different autos you can pull. And there's two inserts. So two of those Bowman Recollection cards are going to be Chicago White Sox. The autos you're really going to be looking to be chasing are going to be the Cespedes, the Luis Robert, the Nick Madrigal. All very nice autos that you can get from the White Sox. If you're looking for the most autos, well, you got to go to the Chicago White Sox. But since we already listed the Chicago White Sox, you probably want to go look at the Detroit Tigers. They've got six base cards. Three of them are going to be prospects. Three of them are rookie cards. And they have seven different autos that you can pull out of here. And they're very nice ones. You've got the Spencer Torkelson, the Auto Mize. So a very good auto checklist for the Tigers, and there's plenty of autos that you can pull out of there. So if you're looking for autos, you may want to try the Chicago White Sox, but I think they're going to be a little bit more expensive than the Tigers. So if you're looking for a lot of autos, look at the Tigers. If you want a solid choice, go look at the Seattle Mariners. They've got seven base cards, so plenty of base cards. Four prospects, two rookie cards, and that Kelnick short print no number, which would be awesome if you hit that thing. They've got a decent amount of autos in here as well. They've got five. They've also got one insert. The autos you're really going to be looking to chase there are going to be Julio Rodriguez, Jared Kelnick. They've each got some dual and triple autos that you can pull out of here. But really, when it comes to the Seattle Mariners, what you're looking for is the parallels. You're looking for that Kelnick SP. It's a very, very solid team that's going to have plenty of cards that get pulled out of a case. So I think with the Mariners, if you can trade for them in a random team break, if you want to go and do the pick your team, if you can get them at the right price, I think they're going to be pretty expensive because of the Jared Kelnick. But pretty much, even if the Kelnick doesn't show up, I think you're going to find a lot of value from the Mariners anyways. And if you get lucky on one of those autos, I mean, it's a gold mine. So the Mariners... Take your shot with them on a pick your team, maybe make a trade or something in a random team. I think you're going to be doing yourself a good favor if you go that direction. If you're looking for the team that I think long term going to hold the most value, I'm going to go over to the Blue Jays. They've got only three cards in the base set. One of them's a prospect, uh, two are rookie cards, but they do have a decent number of autos, five autos. They've got one insert. Um, and here's why I think they're going to hold the most value. The auto checklist is very nice. They've got Austin Martin, Nate Pearson, who I know had a down year this year, but he's got all the stuff to be a top of the line starter for the Blue Jays for years to come. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. has an auto in there for that Bowman Recollections. So there's just a very, very nice auto lineup for the Blue Jays. And long term, I think all of those autos are going to hold plenty of value. So I'm going to go with the Blue Jays as the team long term that holds the most value. If you want some sleepers, go look at the Tampa Bay Rays. Five base cards, three prospects, two rookie cards. They've got an astounding number of autos. They've got seven. One of them is Wander Franco. Randy Arozarena, he's going to probably win Rookie of the Year. So we've got another solid auto checklist. Don't even know if we can really consider the Rays a sleeper here based upon those names. But it's Bowman Sterling. I think there's some other names that people are going to be chasing. Obviously, the Wander isn't like a Bowman first auto. and a Rosarena, again, we're going to have a rookie card. It's going to have an auto. Might be a little expensive, but if you can get the Rays at the right price, I would pounce on them. You may be able to make a trade in a random team break, and if you can, that's awesome. If you get them in a random team break, I would say hold. 
And the Rays, like I said, five base cards. They've got plenty of base, even if you don't pull one of the autos. I think if you're doing a case break over the course of the case, I think you're going to find a decent number of Tampa Bay Rays cards coming out of the box. For my next sleeper, we're going to go to the Milwaukee Brewers. They've only got two base cards, but they are both prospects. And they've only got four autos, which actually isn't terrible, but it isn't great either. They're kind of middle of the road on how many autos you can pull from their team checklist. And they do have one insert. However, the autos you can get out of here, again, all solid autos. You've got uh, Garrett Mitchell, Hedbert Perez. There's a few other ones in here that you'll want to be chasing, but those autos hold a lot of value. Not a, There's like zero filler on the Milwaukee Brewers auto checklist, so definitely check out the Brewers as a sleeper. I don't think they're even going to be in the top 10, but their autos will command value. So if you can get them in a pick your team at the right price, pounce on it. If you can trade one of your mid-level teams that you get in a random team break. I think that's fantastic as well. So my sleeper, the Milwaukee Brewers, the Tampa Bay Rays, these are the teams that I would be targeting in breaks. And I hope as you are getting into breaks that you have good luck if you get some of these teams. So what are the overall set positives of 2021 Bowman Sterling? Well, first and foremost, look, you can only get prospects and rookies in the base set checklist. So every one of these cards could hold value long-term. There is a pretty low cost per auto for a Bowman product. Keep in mind, you get five autos and they will only be $65 per auto, which is pretty low for a Bowman product. Obviously, you're going to spend over $300, but you do get the five autos, which is way less than, say, a super jumbo box of Bowman, which is going to be somewhere between like $500 and $650 or something like that. So a low cost per auto for a Bowman product. And they actually have a lower print run than the other Bowman sets that come out. So even though this year's set is a higher print run than it has been in the past. It's still much lower than the other Bowman sets that have come out in 2021. I also like that there's the clever insert set with the Sterling Recollections and the fact that they have autoed versions of that. It's almost, almost like pulling a Bowman first of Ronald Acuna Jr., which would be awesome. It's a great set. Uh, they've got Jordan Alvarez. There's all sorts of different nice uh, names throughout that set. So the Sterling Recollections, clever way to kind of bring in that first Bowman element to Bowman Sterling. And I also think it's a great product for breaks. Obviously, lots of autos. There's not a ton of filler. So it's a fun break with a lot of hits to go around. If you're in a case break, everyone's probably going to go home with an auto. Hopefully you get 60 of them in a case. Maybe some people go home with multiple autos. If you're doing box breaks, a lot of people still going to get a hit. So a great product for breaking, especially with some of the names that come out of here. And finally, I like the card design and quality of the card stock. It's always been a very nice cardstock. They have a beautiful, more elegant design than, say, the Bowman kind of flagship lines. And it's a little bit of a luxury up, is what I would say, in regards to the design and the quality of the cardstock. So, for our set negatives, first, the checklist doesn't have a ton of new prospects. So it feels very much like a lift from 2020 Bowman draft or 2021 Bowman baseball. Here's what I mean by that. Obviously, there's no first and uh, that shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone. However, a lot of the names on here aren't names that just got released in the 2021 Bowman Chrome. So you're not seeing a lot of those international stars. There's a couple of them, but really most of these names we've seen all the way back into 2020 Bowman Draft. If you didn't see them there, you most likely saw them in 2020 Bowman uh, Baseball. So just not a ton of new ones. There's a few, but for the most part, we've seen a lot of these names before. 
I also, and I think this is a big miss, we are missing some very big rookie auto names. We've got Jared Kelnick, who does not have a rookie auto in this. He does have the num- the high number short print, but it is not autoed. Joe Adele is not in here. Dylan Carlson is not in here for an auto. Their rookie cards are, but their autos are not. So when we look at that rookie auto checklist, missing some of the big names from 2021. And I think that's a big miss for this set. It also seems like this set could use an auto relic. I get it's an auto driven set, but it might be kind of nice to see a relic with an auto, uh, especially with the rookies. If you can get an RPA in here, I think it would really, really help this set, but it doesn't exist. Also, because there's no first Bowman's in the set, typically these cards do not command the same price that their Bowman counterparts do on the secondary market. So if you're going to pull one of these big prospect names, I, the card's still going to hold plenty of value. However, not quite as much value and not quite as much demand on the secondary market as the standard Bowman line. Finally, a couple of the teams on the checklist, pretty sparse overall. Oakland has very, very few cards. I think they have two cards total. The Cubs and Rockies also have a very, very small team checklist. So some of the teams are not equally distributed and represented in Bowman Sterling, which is a little bit of a miss. So when we talk about breaks, Oakland, Cubs, Rockies, going to be tough if you pull them in a random team break to really get some fire because the honest to God truth is there just isn't enough there to make that spot worth it. And the fact that we have like three or four teams like that, that's kind of big, especially considering the fact that some teams have like seven base cards. I get it's a small checklist, but a little bit more of an even distribution on the teams makes it for a much better break product, which is so important in 2021. So With all that being said, that brings us to the one cent sensational set ranking where we're going to find out how good Bowman Sterling really is. Like I said, we're going to use the one cent ranking system of one to five stars, and we're going to break it down into 10 different categories. Our first category going to be appeal. I think there is appeal here. Again, there's always appeal when we've got rookies and prospects. That's the only thing. We've also got tons of autos. Those are the things that people in the hobby today love. So my appeal here, even though it's not a product that has Bowman first, I think there's appeal here. I go ahead and give it a seven. The base set checklist. I ding it a little bit, give it a seven because I don't think there's even distribution amongst the teams. However, All of the key rookies that you're looking for, even if they don't have an auto, they do have a rookie card in here. The prospects that are in here are all of the top prospect names that you would expect to see out of a Bowman product. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a seven. For the inserts and relics, well, there are no relics and there's only one insert. I do like the insert. The Bowman Recollections insert should be really cool. Kind of fun to pull a lot of those cards. However, the fact is there's only one and there's no relics. I feel like it's a little bit of a miss that there is no relic in this product, so I'm going to give it a 4.5. For our parallels and variations, a smaller parallel rainbow, but I like that we don't have the 25 different colors and stuff. A smaller print run on this. There is no variations, but for the parallel rainbow, I'm going to go ahead and give it a six. The highest numbered one is only to 199. There's plenty that are going to be numbered pretty low out of here. So pretty decent parallel rainbow for the auto checklist. I'm giving it a six. There's some big prospect names in here, which is fantastic. It misses on the rookies. There's some key rookies that are missing out of here. We covered off on that earlier. So I cannot go higher than a six on this. And a six is maybe being a little generous. We also have the pack odds in production. Like I said, lower print run here. Although it's higher than last year, I'm going to go ahead and give it a 6.5. For the card quality, I go ahead and give it a 7. Bowman Sterling typically has fantastic looking cards. They're printed very nice. Hoping that we don't see some of the quality control issues that have been so rampant in 2021, but Tops has kind of reeled a lot of that back in. I'm going to give it a seven and hold my breath that that holds true. 
historical value on this. These cards can hold value, especially some of the low numbered parallels, some of the bigger autos. They look real nice. They're nice collector's pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a six, kind of middle of the road. Doesn't quite as hold as much value as Bowman flagship does, but Overall, not a bad product, especially considering we're at $65 cost per auto in 2021. For artistic value, I'm going to give it a six as well. Again, a very nice design. Uh, this year's design, a little bit of a change in direction compared to the last few years. I think they're putting a little bit more color onto the card. So we'll have to wait and see. They did push it a little bit, but overall, nothing over the moon that you're just going, wow, it knocks your socks off. So I go ahead and give it a six. And then finally for cost value, I'm going to give it a seven. We get five autos, low cost per auto, high cost per card, not getting a ton of cards out of here, but we're chasing autos, we're chasing parallels. That's the point of the set. So I go ahead and give it a seven because I do think over the course of five autos that you will probably make a decent return on your investment. Like I always say, a box should not always return 100% of your investment. But the reality is you should expect somewhere between maybe 50 to 70%. And then over time, that maybe grows. Some boxes obviously going to give you a lot more than that, depending on what you pull. But when we talk about cost value, we're looking to recoup a significant percentage of our cost that we put in. And I think you'll do that with Bowman Sterling for the most part, maybe a few dead boxes here and there, but overall, I'm going to go ahead and give it a seven. So let's go ahead and add up all of these categories and see where 2021 Bowman ranks on the one cent sensational set ranking for 2021. The final rating is a 63. So it slides in as a low four star set. We've had plenty of high four-star sets. There's a few things missing out of the product. The rookie autos, I think, are where the biggest miss is. And I also think we could use a, a relic or maybe some more inserts here and there. It feels like it's a pretty, pretty narrowed down set with a very narrow focus on autos, which is fine. The auto checklist for the prospects is great. We have a very nice card design. We have a little bit of a lower print run. So a lot of our parallels should be lower numbered than what we're going to find in other Bowman products. So overall, not a bad set. Again, though, if you're chasing first Bowmans, you're going to want to stay away from this set. There's a little bit that's missing out of here for breaks in regards to the even distribution and representation for the teams. But Beautiful cards. I like them as a collector's piece, a little bit less as an investment piece, although some of these might not be bad if you can get them at the right price. So a low four star set. And this is where it ranked last year. It was actually all the way up at 70, a very solid four star set last year. The checklist a little bit better last year, in my opinion, much more representation on the rookies and just Overall, I just thought it was a little bit of a better set. Again, we had a, even a lower print run last year. So it has actually fallen back a little bit, but still a four-star set, borderline three-star. So proceed with caution is what I would say at the end of the day with Bowman Sterling. But if you like rookie autos, if you like prospect autos, there's not too much caution that you probably need to take here because you're going to get plenty of them out of every hobby box. So where does Bowman Sterling rank with all of the other set reviews that we've done so far this year? We're getting pretty late in the season, so we're getting a nice round picture of all of our sets at this point to kind of see what are bubbling up to be the top sets of the year. So for Bowman Sterling, we're right in the middle of the pack. It is 17 out of 31 coming in at that 63, so it does not crack the top 10. Still at the top, we've got Topps Chrome at 80. However, after a lot of pack openings and box openings and case openings that I've seen, Topps Chrome may be rated a little bit too high. Bowman Baseball, Bowman Chrome, still solid up there, rounding out the top three. Probably what I feel is my surprise set of the year, 
actually came back out a long time ago. We've got Topps Inception sitting there at seven. We still have Panini with a lot of their products that are still left to be released. They've had a ton of delays. So we'll see if Panini can kind of scratch the top 10 a little bit more than it has. Panini select their highest rated set so far at eight. And this is beginning to look like an accurate representation of what I think the best sets of the year are. We have a few more that are obviously bound to come out between now and the end of the year and a few big ones. So this will shift a little bit, but this list right now gives you a pretty good idea of what I think that the best sets are. So with that, guys, let me know in the comments below if you're getting into Bowman Sterling. Let me know if you think it's a great product. Let me know where you think it misses. Let me know your thoughts. Love to hear them. I respond to most people's comments if they comment in the comments section. And like I said earlier, be sure to throw over to first, hit that like button for me if you like these set reviews. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to hit that bell notification so you can see all of the set reviews that come out. And with that, I hope that is your opening, your personal packs of 2021 Bowman Sterling that you pull some awesome fire for yourself. And until next time, take care of your family, take care of your friends, take care of your neighbors, and most importantly, take care of yourself. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.